today. From Wembley Stadium in London, England, it's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New England Patriots and the Green Bay Packers. Here's the putter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway here in England. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Time to see the offense for Green Bay go to work. Aaron Rodgers leading them. What a career it's been. Came into the league back in 2005 as the number 24 pick out of Cal. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. He can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. On first down, Rodgers. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. Coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination look pretty good. How about that? They, they, let's, see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Rodgers' throw is taken in by Jones. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Second down at four. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Rodgers to throw once more. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's going to have a Packers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. A give to Jones. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. On second and ten. Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Rodgers. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, 
It's almost like they only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So out comes the Patriots offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Looking to throw, Jones. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Jones now throwing on first down. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Jones on third down. Throw left side here taken in by Asiasi, the tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They hand this off to Harris. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Third and inches, just turn around and hand it to the big guy and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they got a big guy back there pushing forward. I think it actually works. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris taking it in from two yards out, and the Patriots have taken the lead. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Bailey now to 
kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not a... All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And the return will stop right around the 25. fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle and Charles I think they were in zone defensively weren't they they certainly were nice read on your part and sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers in this case he played a pure zone that was in the wrong spot for the QB and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two so if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut it down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Again, it's Harris on second down. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Off play action, Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Off the play fake, Jones. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Patriots add six to their lead. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. But he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call him. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams would just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for them. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing now is Rodgers. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. To throw, it's Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And able to find Alan Lazard. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. 
Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Big Christian Barmore was there on the tackle. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And incomplete on the deep ball. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Able to find Lazard. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. to three ball game. The first red zone opportunity now for the Packers. First and 10 right at the 20. Rodgers going to throw. And that's complete to Adams. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL, and all he does is just find avenues find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were on the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. But they wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. to 14 to 6 now. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Damian Harris to the Patriot offense, ready to take over again. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On second down, this is Harris. 45 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. They were not fooling around at all, were they? second and short and they brought out the heavy package almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense didn't it I, mean, I don't think they expected that much beef up front and it turned into an easy first down conversion it'll rifle this one deep right side and it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect so after the incompletion on first now second and ten on the give this is Harris and he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Back to throw. Jones. 
And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. Now the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space. And just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. And a quick throw here, that complete. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. On second down, Dillon. Talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yards runs, and goes to one of those. This will be stopped about two yards shot. Turn to Harris to begin the drive. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Looking to throw. Jones. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down, it's Harris. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Here's Jones on first down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get... step if you're within one step of the quarterback you can hit him as long as it's still done legally but anything outside of that looks like an extra step was involved 69 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half Harris going to get it again on second down and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line They'll try and run with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. 
So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, he's going to get more chances as this game goes on. And I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is up to 15 now. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jones. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Rodgers throw into the hands of Cobb. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately, he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. The give is to Jones. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 33. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Lava's been power running. He decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't he? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw complete here on target to tell you. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to have a third down. Now Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. And Crosby puts it through. But hang on, a flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. 
After the penalty, it's Jones. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now Rodgers. And it's caught. And it's a Packers touchdown. Rodgers connecting with Equinemius St. Brown. And the Packers make some inroads here on that deficit. Crosby with the extra point. And this is back to an eight-point game. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the result, a Green Bay score. On the return is J.J. Taylor. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. New England's offense set to go. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Play action. Jones. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. Big play there for New England. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. This is Harris. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. And Fultz's kick is good. And the lead now 11, 24 to 13. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. On the return, it's Taylor. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. 
And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. 96 yards for him on the ground now. As he has been terrific here this afternoon. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That's on Shaq Mason, the guard. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They run with Harris. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Throwing on second and long. Jones, he'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Got the connection here to Bourne. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That one was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? He said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, and whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Throwing is Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yard. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Open man is born, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, it's Harris, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. 
with the end of all that hitting and hollering. It was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run with the goal. Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Off the play fake, Jones. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here's a give to Jones running left. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jalen Mills, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Looking to throw. Jones. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. Touchdown. Kendrick Bourne. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Pats take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. No lead safe in the new NFL, but this score is really going to give them some needed breathing room. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now a first down carry by Jones. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Now they'll throw with Rodgers toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass 
is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The Pats at the line ready to go. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Second down, it's Harris. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Back to throw, Jones. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run on first down. Harris. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Harris going to get it again on second down. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's going to have the Patriots first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. A give to Harris, and not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Look at the throw. Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. A gain of six there on first. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in London. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. To throw again on second down, Rodgers. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get it behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. The Packers on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and 11. To throw is Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. 
Yeah, this defense rallies and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. The screen does get him nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. One to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. To throw on second and ten. Rodgers, open man left side. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. About to put our defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you try not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Seven yards to pick up there. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. A tackle him over. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. He's been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Dancing to his left. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. But nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. And Rodgers is going to go down. He sacked. Matt Judon able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be a third and about 13. On the delay, Jones. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. And now here is another interception. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Pats are going to take possession here at their own 33. I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been in the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. Chris Barnes there on the stop. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you've got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. 
And if you have the ball, they can't score. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for them. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They're in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. On second down now, it's Harris. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. They hand this off to Harris, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios to run someone into the ground and to secure a victory. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. They'll toss to Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing up. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Rodgers on the return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. On second down, it's Jones. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The coverage unit out there thinking pass on third and three. Here's Rodgers. And my goodness, another interception. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The Patriot defense has a touchdown. 
Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You're ready to go to the bench and hang out. He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. Full connects on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, yet. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. Seven yards to pick up there. Working with a second and three. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Adams. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Rodgers now on first down. And it's complete to Adams. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. One final try now for Rodgers. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Now Crosby for the point after. Cut the lead down to 28. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. <laughs> yes, get out of there. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say cheerio from London.